Hi, I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Becca Frook. And welcome to Top That, your weekly pop culture cheat sheet to what everyone is and will be talking about on the web. Each week, Tyler and I attempt to top each other with our own top five of what's hot on the web. And we are looking to see if you can top us by submitting your own must-know items in the comments below. <laughs> Becca, <laughs> do you have a number five? I do. Well, I think we should get right into it. I happen to bring one with me. What you got? Where is she? Oh! All right, for my number five, we're starting big. What is the internet really good at? Hot men, felines. So what I got for you, Zac Efron and cats. A beautiful marriage of all the things that ever needed to be on the interwebs. This is why M Microsoft Paint exists. This is why Photoshop exists. This is why Al Gore invented the internet. Basically. There's a bit of a trend going on where basically there's images of Zac Efron with cats littered about him. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so done with you. I am obsessed with Zac Efron, as the world knows. Much like the rest of the world, mm -hmm. are you? Yes, obviously. I'm not necessarily a cat person, though, but I can appreciate a cute kitty. We needed this to happen. Thank you for delivering, everyone. Mm -hmm. And I, you know, it's just like, it's Zac and like a cat, like, shushing. Well, my favorite one, Zac wrapped up with rope. Na and, yes, naked. in bondage with ba kittens. Bondage with kittens surrounding him. And honestly, considering everything that's happening mm -hmm. with Zach, can, like the um, rehab situation mm -hmm. and those types of things, it is good to see Zach in a positive light, right. surrounded by love and happiness. And kittens. And kittens. So, how are you going to beat that? Well, my number five, Rihanna's slow loris selfie turns into accidental activism. Oh. This is a moment of the queen of pop, Rihanna, coming to aid all of the endangered species of the world through a selfie. So she took a selfie with a slow loris. If you don't know what a slow loris is, please, google.com, Google. bing it, just look it up. Oh my God, she uh, took a picture with this beautiful animal who is apparently on the endangered species list. Mm -hmm. And as soon as she snapped the selfie and sent it out into the world, the officials in Phuket were all like, oh snap. Something is going down with this uh, slow loris. So she exposed these criminals for what they were um, by exposing the world to a, a beautiful selfie with an animal. And that is why she is the queen of pop. Things that need to be said, <laughs> she exposes them and says them. For my number four, I have Bat Dad Saves Vine. Yeah, Christian Bale, you <laughs> like, there's a man coming for you. Your he, spot is taken, yeah. basically. He is a dad. He acquired a Batman mask and had the genius idea of let me make some vines where I uh, basically torture my family. <laughs> but they're by, not even having it. They yeah, don't even care. Yeah, by pretending to be the Dark Knight. Hurry up! We're gonna be late for the bus. One of my favorite ones is like he's driving and you just see you know his face in the mask and he's the perfect. The thing is the voice. I mean, <laughs> where is she? Where is she? She's right there, Daddy. Oh. It's adorable. He's like scaring his wife. His wife is like, oh my God, please. Jen! Jen! Oh, Jen! God, Make sure you wash my pajamas. Parenting, you're doing it right. Oh, this, this, literally, this is the manual. Forget all that other self-help, how to deal with your children <laughs> stuff. Just bad dad it. Okay, so for my number four, I am also going the route of buying. We have basically what Tragedy. was inevitably going to happen. A guy gets hit by a car while trying to vine. So this guy apparently mm -hmm. is well known for jumping over cars and vines, which I didn't know was a thing you could be well known for. Put that on your resume. <laughs> Put it on your LinkedIn, you're sure to get the job. But don't, because he tried to do it again and he got hit by the car. People think just because I'm black, I can do athletic stuff. I don't get it. Oh! I literally gasped. Um, but yeah, this was inevitable. The first vine to catch a glimpse of a guy getting hit by a car. And the best part is, in the last second, you have six seconds, he filled the first five with preparing to jump, getting hit by the car. Trauma. And trauma. And then in the last second, he's like selfie vining. Don't do it for the vine! Don't do it for the vine! Which I think is the famous last words of our generation. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I mean, it's kind of like Vine's YOLO situation. Children. Don't let it be you. Okay. Okay. I will not revine it, so don't do it. I mean, Bad Dad will come for you. You know, he's trying Maybe to make it was Vine Bad Dad. safe. Bad Dad was driving in his vine. Maybe he's who hit him. Possibly. In the car. Here is my number three. 
The tube is coming, but don't sit next to Rob Stark. So what I'm talking about is Game of Thrones, of course, King of the North. Basically, Richard Madden, who plays Rob Stark, was on the subway and he was taking up too much space. And apparently, there's an entire like Tumblr website dedicated. I've seen this. Okay, yes. I know what you're talking about. Yes, who men who take up too much space on the train. Some women have theories that perhaps he's anatomically <laughs> challenged to the point that he can't close his legs. Oh shoot. Yeah. What no. a challenge that must be. Now I've seen this Tumblr. And they post pictures of guys like sitting with their legs together. They they're not having any guys. And if you have legs, they're upset with you if you're sitting on a <laughs> even subway. if your legs are hot dogs. Like I'm just yes, probably. Y'all just need to calm it down. If people have like the spread leg situation, I understand. But I some have seen gentlemen, some men just being. I mean, come on. I've guys. seen women like that. I don't go making a Tumblr blog about it. Maybe you should. Consider Maybe it. I should. Okay, so for my number three, we have the most ridiculous thing I've seen all week. Chris Jenner. I've never seen a Kardashian episode, by the way. I feel like that's my claim. Actually, to fame. I don't think I've seen a full one either. What? It, well, that's what we'll do tonight. Okay. Uh, so Chris Jenner, who is the mom of all the Kardashian clan, uh, she is selling her things on eBay, which uh, I feel like she she must like. What? Why? Does that mean her talk show isn't doing so well? That's what I'm curious, George, about. Here's what had happened. She sold some sunglasses. Top bidder got them. Mm -hmm. And apparently they were all smudged up with makeup. And I like, mean, clean your stuff. <laughs> Especially if you're Chris Jenner. So this person who bought these sunglasses left her negative feedback on eBay. And okay. I can only imagine the wrath that went For, down I mean, in the Chris, mansion. Yes. When she Chris logged on her eBay account and saw this negative feedback. And it should be known, whether good or bad, this feedback stays with your account for Ooh. life. Chris Jenner. This is a scar upon your reputation, and maybe you should learn. All right, for my number two, Sam the Bar Mitzvah Boy was a star of our countdown last week, but now England is amassing an army of tiny, talented dancers, and they're represented by these two amazing B-girls, okay? They're like, I don't know, six and nine mm -hmm. or something. It's this girl, uh, Tara, and her sister, Eddie, and they are full alive. Now, I am not a good dancer. Like, I can do like a two-step no, something. No, you can do a body roll too. I can do a body roll. But mm -hmm. these girls, I'm like, I I am an embarrassment after watching this. And then, like, my favorite part is this, how serious their faces are. Like, this is not a joke. <laughs> like, it's very different. Like, Sam is basically is full of glee and joy and like, he can't even handle it. And these girls are like. And just like Sam, you know, they're following in all the great young dancers of our generation's footsteps. They appeared on Ellen, of course. Ellen is the one amassing the army. Yes, this is true. This oh, is what's right. happening. Ellen, I see you. I see what She's you're up have to. She's gonna have Sophia Grace. She's gonna have Sam, Tara, and Eddie. <sighs> Kids Bop it's comes kind of, to Ellen. Is basically what's going on. It's like a new Mickey Mouse Club kind of thing. But flyer and viral. Okay, so for my number two, speaking of dancing, we have this girl, the B girl, her future perhaps. Uh, there was a drunk girl <laughs> at IHOP twerking, having a twerk off, if you will, with a gentleman. And it's basically every time I go to IHOP, this happens. Mm. So it was not a surprise <laughs> to see that this went viral on in the internet. This girl thinks she can compete with this guy. So she does a little bit of twerking and she's like kind of good, blah, blah, blah. But then this guy gets up and he like gets down. <laughs> yes! <laughs> and he's like doing the splits. And then they do a vote, and clearly. You got it. Adam, I think Adam is this one. <laughs> I will give this girl some props because she doesn't give up. She, well, and it may be because she's too drunk to like realize that she's losing. Don't give up. Give up. Stop. Just hang out in the IHOP for a couple hours and you'll be like, okay, I've seen all the life I need to see. <laughs> I have never seen a pair of old navy shorts do what they did on that man. You haven't lived. <laughs> All right, so for my number one, I'm gonna switch gears a little bit. Okay. We're doing heartwarming, inspirational news out of Boston. Boston is still strong, you guys. This amazing man, homeless man, found a backpack filled with $40,000 in like cash and traveler's checks. That's insane. Okay? okay, instead of taking that money, like most normal people would even, I mean, if you're homeless, right? You're in a situation, you, dire yeah. straits. Rough you, times. Okay, you might, so you, you could like money. understand why he would keep it. He turns it in. He turns it into the police. There's no way I would have kept 
even a penny of that money. There's just no way, no way. This is what's beautiful is good people getting rewarded because what happened is a young man who was traveling to Boston, not even, he's like from Alabama, heard about this story, mm -hmm. started an online campaign to be like, let's help this man change his life. Who deserves it, right? And they've raised $100,000. Ethan Whittington, a complete stranger from Virginia who saw the story and started an online fundraiser for the man who's been homeless since 2005. You don't need to tell me thank you, man. You're, you're the one that, that deserves all the credit right here. You're, you're the one that's done everything. You've revived my faith in humanity. That's awesome. Because right? I, I feel like it's it's showing people that when you're a good person, good things come back. That karma? Yes. That is. This is karma in a nutshell. I was just so, I was so overjoyed to hear this story percolating out there in the world. It's beautiful. You know? So good job, Internet, for supporting Glenn James. The Internet's so good at this, though. They're, we're, we're like on top of things, so. Topping it. Bravo. Thank you so much for being so kind. So for my number one, we have probably the most epic uh, smackdown that ever has happened on eBay. A mom took uh, her kids' One Direction tickets away and is selling them on eBay, but it doesn't stop there. The description of the tickets is the most epic thing and kind of misspelled and just, a, it's, a, it's a train wreck. Yeah. Here's what had happened. <laughs> Her and her friends did a little slumber party at a gentleman's house. When they said that they were sleeping at her friend's house, it's all very high school drama. Mm -hmm. But what, what she doesn't know is her mom knows. And not only does her mom know, but she is taking away her One Direction tickets, she is selling them on eBay, and she oh, is threatening she her daughter. She went for the jugular. Truly, the most, the rudest thing you could possibly do to a child, or me, is to take away your tickets, and she does it in the most public manner. And this has gone viral, everybody has seen it, and it's like kind of insane. But my favorite part is, she even says in the description of the, the eBay listing, she's like, you think you come up with this behavior? Honey, this is how you are conceived. This, this is type of behavior is where you are from. So don't act like I don't know oh what you're God. up to because I invented this. I'm like, I feel like I shouldn't I'm be terrified. reading this. The real question here is what, what would the boys, what would One Direction think of this? I don't know. What do you guys think? We want to know. Let us know in the comments. Uh, do you think that the mom is in the right? Or do you think that, you know, she's crazy? Because I'm getting both vibes. Oh, man. <laughs> Tyler, what a week! I am telling you what. Whew. Goodness me. I'm telling you, we got Zach and Katz, and we got Slow Loris and Rihanna. And eBay. <laughs> eBay's just, it was great. It was a good week. Yeah, so thanks for joining us. Yeah. For this little pop culture countdown that we like to call Top That. I'm Tyler Oakley. And I'm Becca Frucht. And if you like this week's episode, be sure to push the thumbs up button and subscribe to Pop Sugar Girls Guide for more episodes of Top That mm -hmm. every Friday. And don't forget, you can always top us we're available and for the we're, topping. We're always reading your comments. So if you have something you want to see in the countdown, put, put it, in, it in the comments. We'll be responding. We'll be mm -hmm. reading. Let us know. All right. Thanks for watching. Okay. Later. Bye.